Macadamia and Hass avocado are one of the world's most profitable crops with very high returns which explains government's prioritization of the two crops. However, some of the nucleus farmers identified by government through NADS in Changezo district say the emergence of different players, each with different gospel about the growth of the crops, is creating worry and distortion which may frustrate government's plans to encourage farmers towards the right direction. I think now there are so many actors in the house of avocado industry and everybody is uh, the information that is going out. I think maybe we need to be controlled to be able to save ourselves and also the, the, the place that farm our trunk. Because look, if you sell him a, f a fake seed, the fake seed. Leaf. And one of their members has seven acres planted in Busia. Mm. So I think at the age of about two years, he takes a technical team to go and inspect for him. They find out of those 1,000 so many trees mm -hmm. planted, two years old, only six trees. And uh, if you look at our nursery, we are as much as possible to try and uh, and um, and set and set the the, the right mm -hmm. standards of. Uh, of agricultural crop money. The manager planning, monitoring and evaluation at the NADS Secretariat, Godfrey Masereka, is concerned that suppliers who have embarked on selling seedlings on the open market may compromise quality. Colors actually indicated that some suppliers have started selling them in the open market, ah, yes. not from the nursery. So exactly. it is something that the district should do actually follow up. Exactly. Who is doing this? Because they will end up giving farmers wrong seedlings mm -hmm. and they waste their time and they, so it is something you should take up. The unwillingness of some of the district management teams to take part in the program has also been seen as sabotage to the progress of the program. Some of the district uh, management teams are not informed of the program and therefore they made it very difficult for the nucleus farmers to supply in those districts. <coughs> okay. Yes, they would refuse to come to the district. Sometimes they would be uncooperative and say, park your truck at the district for five days as we constitute the whole team that is going to come and check your seedling and verify the kind of seedling you have. According to the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries figures in 2019, Uganda sold 201 tons of macadamia nuts. The market for the Ugandan macadamia nuts also increased by 183.099% compared to about 80 tons in 2018. Macadamia nuts exports grew by 139.29%, summing to a net of 0.54 million US dollars for the year 2019.